So, I'll, I'll, although I have enjoyed talking to you and your Academy Award winning performance, this is your opportunity to set the record straight. Friends, this is the interrogation of Malik Salam. This took place in Northern Virginia. In December of 2019, the body of a man was found in the woods. His name was Mikhail Kebede. He was 31 years old. Unfortunately, no images of him can be found. Police identified Malik as a suspect and brought him in. Make sure you watch this to the very end because you're going to see a legendary acting performance and then when the police hit him with the facts, he won't know what happened. Trust me. Just a quick favor, I made a Facebook page. I need 5,000 followers. Link is in the description. Please go follow. I'll come in periodically with my own thoughts. It's just never mind. I'll be taking what I was in this. It's probably a different time. <sighs> There you go. I you have a little bit more room over there, okay? You really a Dallas fan? Yes, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. Hmm. How come? I don't know. <laughs> you always been a Dallas fan? For yes. real? Since I started watching football. You never liked the Redskins? No. Hmm. I don't know why that. You from Dallas? You from Texas? I'm from Atlantic City, New Jersey. You don't like the Jets? Hey, at least you don't like the Jets. All right. No. <laughs> all right, since you didn't scare the life out of all me and my family. All right. We're from Virginia. I all right. We're from that. Fairfax County, Virginia. Yeah. Uh, my name is Steve Needles. This is John Long. Um, we're here. We're investigating a um, a murder that occurred um, <laughs> in Northern Virginia. All right. Okay. I can take so, my head off. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Um, so I'll explain everything okay. we talk about, what's going on, I'll tell you my perspective. Uh, let's let me make sure we have the information correct. Your name and everything. What's your What's your actual real name? Randy Nicholas Presley. Okay. Now, did you l change your Legally name? Legally in okay. So, so what's your legal name currently? Malik, Malik Salam. Salam. Okay. Yes, that's you, the name I go by on everything. Uh, job applications, school, mm -hmm. everything. So Malik Abdul, Abdul Salam. Okay. Yep. And what made you change your name? Well, you know, I, I converted when I was very young. Okay. You know, so um, uh, ups and downs, you know, mm -hmm. I just thought that that's what I wanted to stick to. That's what I believed in. Okay. You know what I mean? And So you, you know, prefer to go by Malik? Yes. And is it M-A-L-E-K or no, M M A L I K. I K. okay. Yes. Do you, are you working anywhere? Yes, Planet Fitness. I work there at night. On the highway? Yes, Sacramento. And I go to school during the day, 8 to eight to 4. Hmm. Monday through Friday. And where do you go to school? Um, CET, Center for Employment Training. What are you training to do? Uh, building maintenance. Okay. And where is that school located? That's Edsel Road, Alexandria, Virginia. Do you have a work phone number? Uh, I don't know. Do you have a cell heart. phone number? Yes. Or what's that? Do you have it more than one cell or just one cell? That's it. My okay. iPhone, I go off a of Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah. So, a lot of right. people do that. All right. Um, so I, I don't want you to say anything. I just want you to listen. Okay? okay. So we've been investigating this case probably since uh, Wednesday, Thursday. And we've learned a lot of information. We've got different perspectives from different people. Um, the victim's friends, the victim's associates, some people that know you. Um, and that what kind of led us to where we are today. Okay. I understand that you were involved in some type of conflict with somebody, and I think probably things got out of hand, mm -hmm. and I, we just want to hear your side of the story, your perspective. I've got one side of the story. I'd like to have your side. So, because of that, and you seem, I don't see there's any reason to disagree with you, but because you're under arrest, I've got to read your rights to you. So I want to read your rights to you, and then I'll kind of explain from there. But I just want to kind of lay the foundation. What am I under arrest for? Right now you're under arrest for disposal. The warrant is for disposal of a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely walk. Right. I'm just telling you that's what the warrant's for. There's, there's a lot of information we want to be able to give to you and provide to you during this process, too. It's like it's a two-way. We're hoping this can is I a two-way Can I show you something? Sure. My ankle is swollen, bro. And it's been like that okay. for probably... I got a doctor's note. Well, you know right. what? Okay. Good. We appreciate it. And I'm telling okay. you, bro, like, disposal? Well, listen. 
We appreciate you telling us that, and that's part of the reason why we're here, is because we want to get that type of information. We want to hear everything that you have to say. We right. want to know about that. We want to because your your situation, your legal situation, you're under arrest. I got to read your rights to you. And before I do that, I just got to ask you some really dumb questions about how if you understand what, you, what I'm saying, what's your education level, those type of questions. Have Have you had anything today at all, like weed, alcohol? Anything. Nothing that would impair me for to answer questions. Okay. Have you have you drunk? Have you had alcohol today at all? A beer. Okay. Just one beer? Yeah. Okay, I want to take you back to the beginning. Did you see how scared he looks? He's shitting bricks. Let me explain. They asked him, why are you a Dallas fan? The reason why is because the Dallas Cowboy in the NFL are the biggest rivals to the Washington Redskins, who are today known as the Washington Commanders. The whole thing is hilarious because both teams are shit. But they ask him, you're not from Texas, why do you support Dallas? Engaging in the banter, trying to calm him down, but have a look at the serious look on his face. He pulled his arm out to try to move the conversation on, but they keep talking about the football. Then he goes straight to it. Why am I here? You see the tension in his body? Anyway, let's keep going. How far did you go in school, sir? Ninth grade, I got a GED. All right. When did you get your GED? Uh, what year? 2005. All right. Reading, writing, English, okay? Yes. Right. Are you under any medication? you have medication at all? No. Nothing for pain for your knee? No. All right. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to read this to you. What this says is on December 22nd, and I'm going ahead of myself. I put 2020. Uh, 2019 at 4.57 p.m., we're at Ellicott City Police Department. We were advised by Detective Needles of the Fairfax County Police Department that he was investigating the commission of the crime of disposal of a dead body. And then these are your rights. You have the right to remain silent. You're not required to say anything to anyone at any time or answer any questions. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything you say, anything you say or do, can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before being questioned. And you also have the right to have a lawyer with you while being questioned. Do you mm -hmm. understand that? Yeah. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one will be provided for you. All right. All right. If you want to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering questions at any time if you want to talk to a lawyer. All right. You understand all that? Yeah. Okay. I put these, my initials here, because I read those to you. I, I know this is kind of ridiculous. This is what we got to go through. So what I would like you to do, is, if you want to read this aloud or read it to yourself, you can. And then sign here just saying that you understand what your rights are. That's all, that, that's all you're agreeing to, that you understand what's going on. Great. So, so Abu's friend, you know Mike. Me and Mike. Okay. So, when's the last time you saw him? It had to have been probably about a week and a half ago. Okay. And so, how do you know him? Um, Abu introduced me and Mike uh, to school. Uh, smoke. I probably buy <laughs> three point five grams from him. Right. Forty dollars, bro. Uh huh. Always money up front. You buy it from Abu or from Mike? From Mike. Okay. I met him, go over to this crib, smoked a couple times on our lunch breaks, man. Um, <laughs> right. Every minute. So you say go to his crib or go to Abu's crib? We go to his crib, Mike's crib. So how many times have you bought from him, you think? Probably twice. All right. Over a course of what period? Probably a month or two. I don't even know. Huh. It's just something like I, new. I ain't the weed police. I, right. I'm just asking for. It's probably something talking. like new. All right. right. <laughs> so, but you're talking about a couple grams at a time. Like, yeah, and it's never nothing. It's never an IOU. It's never a. Uh, I'll pay you on Friday. It's here you go and here I go. And right. His weed is good, and my money is good, and me and Mike are cool. Okay. Now, do you usually do it directly with him or somebody in the middle? Very directly with him. All right. All right. You said over over a month or two. So, oh. And so, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, go ahead. 
a dead disposal of a never mind. What? Tripping you out? <laughs> I'm in school, bro. Yeah. Right. Right, right. You're making some of yourself. Absolutely. And so we don't want to derail that. That's why we're trying to get your kind of side of the story. Okay. Um, so did there come a time within the last couple of weeks that you and Abu and Mike did some kind of pill transaction? The, or tried to? Yeah. Okay, tell me about that. Okay. Um, all right, to be straight up with you. Actually, we ain't the drug police. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I called my, I called an uncle of mine, right. man. I called an uncle of mine because apparently Abu told y'all. All right. So, call an uncle of mine. Look, got a guy, some pills. You know what the crazy part about it is? He didn't even go over there for that. I threw it out there in a conversation with smoking the J on the porch. Right. I said, hey, you ever find anybody who knows any pills or whatever? Look out for an uncle. Okay. Right? Uh... I said, I know a guy. Never dealt with my uncle like this before in my life. I mm-hmm. swear to God, I didn't. What made you Off think of, of this family, time? <sighs> Just tripping on the J? We was tripping on... Okay, so let me give you a story. Sure. So, my uncle comes through, uh, drops off some pills. Uh, they were bad pills. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, Mike wants his money back. You so, know. how much was the, the deal for? Five hundred and fifty dollars right. for eighty pills. Um, of well, course, of course, Mike is mad. I don't got nothing to do with me and Mike. It wasn't my money. It wasn't come, possibly come to find out, Mike had got the money from somebody else. Okay, so what his money either? Who money he got that from? I do not know. Right. Okay. My main objective was to help. And see, like, he's my family. I And there's proof. Like, I'm beefing with my uncle and my aunt Karen right now because me and Mike was looking for my uncle's brother for this bread that he stole, apparently, from Mike. And from what I got from Mike, Mike got from somebody else. Right. Never met the guys. I'm not a pill guy. Right. Mike knew that I wasn't involved in pills. It was to, it was like a trust factor that you never questioned it, you know. So, um, couple days running back and forth trying to catch this guy. Like I said, all this can be documented. All of this can be, you know, proven. You know um, that I was actually trying to this pill t- situation got on. Um, the couple days, a boo. You know, he got a new baby. He was like, bro, anything I could do, come through, help, whatever. A couple of days of looking for the dude, Mike was like, you know, I got to go. I got to go to school. I got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, look, man, if, uh, you know, anything happens, he he said, look, I'm gone. I'm going to holler at you. And like I said, that was like. So when when was the pill deal start? When did that start? You that was a day? while ago. That was like two weeks ago. Two and in a half December weeks or ago? November. Today's the twentieth, twenty second. That would have been about December, early. Like, early early, early, early December. Been, okay. Yeah. So because like I said, I'm trying to figure out when the actual last time I could say that I probably seen like probably about. Two weeks, but he's like, I'm being picked up, and sure, you know, I didn't have no like I said, me and Mike wasn't, we was cool, like that's my we guy, right? I go over his house, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? If y'all go to Alexandria, you see me. I'm quite sure his apartment has video cameras. Sure, <laughs> it's my weed, right? Okay, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no beef. I'm trying to help Mike get his sure. friend's money back. So in early December, he you you say you just throw this question out there about the pills. And you say, Yeah, I'm interested. Or the boo and him, or this was Mike one is interested in the boo, pills. It was, I'm gonna tell you who was there. It was me, Mike, a boo, and another classmate named ja- Jaquan. And like I said, we wasn't we wasn't talking about pill. I can't even tell you. Why I, me and the boo, we cool, we talk, 
You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I I believe I probably mentioned like Abu. I got a family member. He got his hands on some pills. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? What kind of pills does Mike think he buying? Percocet. Perk okay. tens. Tens. Okay. Yep. Perk tens. Yep. And it was for five fifty for eighty. Yeah. Okay. So did did you set him up with the uncle and they went direct, or are you in the middle? Everything was like the like my uncle the where we was parked and where he was parked. He can see. Mike, because I was pointing to him like that's right. that's the guy. He's good. He's. But not- how did the deal work? Did you bring Mike to the car, or you took the money to the car? I took the money to the car. Right, so Mike gave you the five fifty, mm-hmm. and you took it to the car. Yeah, and All then right. I took the pills and from it back. my uncle, and then brought it right back to the okay. car. All right, and then where did that happen at? What? Um, in the Mark, the Mark, uh, oh, the complex, Mark, the in complex? Alexandria. Yep. yep, in the parking lot. But the pills were fake. From the get-go? From the get-go. I don't know pills. You didn't know that? I didn't know uh-huh. that. Like I said, listen, when I tell you every, I've been in the streets for a while, every protocol that I was supposed to follow to verify, to make sure that this thing was good, um, uh, I didn't do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just had the pills. Mm-hmm. I trusted he was my uncle. Mm-hmm. Mike trusted me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I said, it, you were kind of putting the middle of it. You know. So did you really know the pills were fake or didn't you? I swear I didn't. Okay. Like I said, when you call my, if y'all want to verify any of these things, you can call my family. Okay. Because my uncle and my aunt Karen, I see the guy is my. Okay, so him and his uncle sold pills to a guy. Turns out these pills were fake. Turns out this guy was his co-worker. Do you think Malik was in on this all along? Do you think he told his uncle, hey, I got a guy who wants pills. We can charge him a good price. I don't know. Go to Walmart. Go get some aspirin. Bash two powders together. And here we are. Do you think he was in on it or not? Let me know. My aunt's husband's brother. Aunt's husband's brother. Right. So we're, I call him uncle through marriage. Mm Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and like I said, I've never done that before. So I wouldn't have known a Percocet from an asthma without looking at it. Now, I know you can look, but I wasn't thinking so about who, that. That's who not... called the bluff on that? What do you mean? Like, who's, who knew they were fake? Well, Mike found out they were fake. How did he find out? I guess he looked them up. This is after he bought them? Yeah. Okay. So, so I after came... After the deal was done, right. where'd y'all go? Uh, so I left... You know, um, matter of fact, my son was with me. So I left, went, picked up my son, came right back. Let Mike know, look, I ain't on no BS, bro. You know what I mean? We cool. Let's try to find my uncle. You know what I'm saying? So uncle gave us a run around for a few days. Blah, blah, blah. So how did you, what did you do to go about getting his money back? I couldn't do anything, but. Did y'all make a road trip or anything? We came to um St. Mary's to look for okay. his his um what day did you do that? The same day I, the deal? I can't remember. You know what you can even do? You'll find out that there was no beef or whatever. Um my license got taken that night. Okay. So St. Mary's County has my license. And that'll tell you the day. The day you went up there? Around the day that we went out there. And um and he had a ring on his phone. Or mm-hmm. whatever, you know, to ring the doorbell ring. Yeah, yeah. And um me and Mike were in the picture. But it was me, Mike, and Abu. Okay. You know what I'm you saying? You all went that to St. Mary's together. To 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 you try to get, get the, money. the money. Yeah. Why did they take your license? I found out that um, I paid a ticket too late. Mm. So in Maryland, 31 days. I'll get you. Yeah. But didn't even realize it. Yeah. So it's just the ticket is paid for. I just got to sure. pay my That's reinstatement right, yeah. fee. Gotcha. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, Mike drove back. <laughs> and your, whose car was it? Your car? It was my um, girl's car. Okay. Which car is that? Uh, a, a Sonata. Oh, Kia, Kia Sonata. Okay. Yeah. He drove, he drove back because he was a licensed driver. Where'd you all go when you came back? Um, back out Alexandria. Okay. And where'd you all stay that night? Um, we I stayed home. 
Okay, where they stay? Yeah, um, Abu went back to his house, and like I said, Mike would just drop by. You know, I don't know. He didn't want to no, go since, home since they were in your car, though. Yeah. How yeah. did how did they just drop you off and they kept your no car no, no 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 okay. no no we dropped the boot off okay at his house and then where Mike go Mike came back on around my house with me and then he rolled out and he was like look bro I got, got somewhere to go figure some things out he didn't want to go back home I don't know why sure I mean, it could be girl drama you never know you I don't know, know, you know how they do <laughs> how long did he stay at your house before you left did he stay the night yeah okay. probably like a day or two. Cause like I said, I have to go. I had to go back to work on Sunday, on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, try to think about what day that might have been that he, I last seen him or whatever. But you know, it was no drama as a boo about him. You know, hey. So boo went to work. Like you, no, you all came back, back from home. you all came, you all came back from Maryland. Mm-hmm. You dropped the boo off, and then you and Mike went back to your house. Yeah, and then and Mike, Mike stayed left. a couple days, or he just left right away. He he stayed a, a day too. So he stayed that night when you guys got yeah. back, maybe late, yeah. and then he stayed the following night. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys ever don't, go back to Maryland don't, again? Don't quote me. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, we don't expect you know what I'm saying, conference. right? Yeah, sure. It's no, a lot. No. Like this yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, what'd you say? I said, y'all ever go back to Maryland again? No. Okay. Uh-uh. Nope. We never went back to Maryland again. Nope. Mm-mm. So, so did you ever get Mike's money back? We left it alone. I never heard. I mean, okay. to me, I don't have no way of getting in contact with Mike. Right. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so my when's contact? the last day you saw Mike? I can't. Um, like I said, probably about a, I'd say, the longest a week, two weeks. Well, two weeks ago, a I week think and a, a half ago. And Abu's dates might be wrong, okay. but Abu said the pill, original pill transaction uh-huh. where you all were smoking uh-huh. and you all talked about pills and did that deal was uh-huh. on Thursday. Okay. A week ago, week ago. Thursday the 12th. Okay. So then Thursday night, you go to Maryland. Okay. Um, oh. come home mm-hmm. and drop the boo off. You right. gotta stay the night. Yeah. So that's Friday now. Okay. You wake up Friday morning. Right. Does Mike leave that day or does he leave another day? This Saturday. Okay. So you think Mike left right. on Saturday? Yeah. Because he was like, you know, um, matter of fact, I want to go meet my uncle. We met up in a um at Shoppers, and you know, my uncle said he's gonna try to. Find out where did Mike meet your uncle too that day, nah, or just nah. you and him? It's just me and my uncle. Okay, right. um, that was the Saturday. Yeah. Um, oh, I, like I said, the days I, I'm just trying to. I know I met with my uncle. You can call him. He met me at a uh, 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 the shoppers, in Hybrid Valley. Okay. Trying to figure out what's going on. Right. But um, his brother, and got back. So Mike, look, Mike. Um, you know, still on that. Um, he was like, "Look, I'm about to roll out, meet up with somebody." You know, like I said, me and Mike wasn't best friends. You know what I'm saying? We was cool. Like there was no beef between me and Mike. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? He could have. He knew he could have stayed with me as long as he went. He. I knew that he owed these guys five hundred and fifty dollars. I knew that Mike didn't want to go back around his way. Me and Abu told him. Oh, you think he was afraid to listen, go back around his way? Listen, me and Abu told Mike. We said, Mike, listen, Mike. It's $550, bro. Talk to the guys. I, when I get paid, I will even help pay the $550 back. I told him that. Me and Abu told him that. When I got to school, Abu said, all he got to do is call the dude. I didn't already talk to him. Whether or not that happens, I don't know. Right, right. I don't know who he. I don't know who he kept the money from. My impression was he. It was his money. Right, right. Not that that mean anything. I wasn't even getting nothing out the deal. Right. I wasn't even getting so nothing out of the pill tell, deal. Did Mike ever tell you who the five fifty was from? No. I don't know who. I don't know who. All I know is that guy did not want to stay 
at his crib for whatever reason. And I told him, and like a, even me and Abu, me and Abu, we was like, yo, we'll go together and explain it to these guys. Mm. Whoever they were. We don't know. I don't know. Whether Abu knows or not, I don't know. That's Abu's neck of the woods. She don't know why he didn't want to go back. I didn't. Okay. Because so on Saturday, how did he leave? How did he leave your place on Saturday? He just left. I didn't know who he was meeting. Mm -hmm. He didn't want nobody to, you know. Obviously, I was like, listen, the guys who you beefing with, I'm straight here, bro. You know, I don't got no problem with you staying with me, kicking back. You know what I mean? Like I said, he's my weed guy. <laughs> you say you need him. There's no problem with him. Right, right. He's my weed guy. Right. You, I felt bad because it's my uncle. True. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I course. really, I felt so bad. So was Mike was trying to uncle. hold you accountable? No. Because you were the cause of him losing his 550? Nah. fake pills? Nah. So he didn't have a problem with you? He didn't have a problem. Me and him knew that it wasn't our fault. This wasn't a concocted thing. Right. Right. Um, so when he left on Saturday, how did he leave? He called Uber or what happened? Mm-hmm. You just ro rolled out. I mean, you see him get in the car? No, or? no, 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 no. I didn't see him do anything. He just disappeared? He just walked out. He was like, bro, I'm, I'm gone. I'm going to holler at you. Right. He walked out my front door. Do you remember what time that was, roughly? Like was morning, nine side. days? It was still like outside. Probably in the afternoon. That was in the afternoon. So you think it was Saturday Early afternoon? Early in the afternoon. Okay. He just rolled yeah, out? Yeah, it was not. It was because, you know, like I told him, he... I didn't have no way of contacting him. You know what I mean? And then he knows where I lived at. So I just let him know, look, bro, we need to come back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, let Abu know, Abu contact me, whatever, however. I ain't got no problem with you chilling for a while. Right. You know what I'm so saying? So how many, other than this occasion where he stayed at your house a couple of days, had he ever been there before? No. This was the very first time? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many times he's been in your car? Was that the only time when he... Yeah. When he drove? Yeah. Like, when you bought like weed from we, him before, he didn't get no, up in your no, car? No, no, no. We never got... I always went up to his apartment. Okay. Yeah, we always... Because we was chilling. It was lunch break. You know his girl? Um, I met her for the first time when this happens. Okay. Like, I don't know her name or anything like that. But she seems decent? Cool or? girl. Okay. Yeah. Very cool girl. She wanted him to stay home. You know what I mean? I met her. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she uh, had a problem with y'all being over there? Smoking? Nope. Nope. She smoked no with you? No problem. Yep. Okay. Yep. Girl smoked. No problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? No beefs, no nothing. She, I mean, she was worried. You know what I'm saying? Because he wasn't home, but she knew as long as he was with me, safe place, he was all right. Right. Did you ever, did you ever talk to her on your cell phone? No. Did you, Mike ever use oh, your cell phone? Oh, uh, he called, she called, um, she called him a couple times. On your phone? On on, on a phone. Yeah, on my, one of my phones. How'd yeah. she get your number? Uh, I guess a boo or a Mike might have gave it to her. Okay. I don't know. So when you was know, that, I mean, you know? I don't know. Like what day? I can't remember. Okay. All right. Do you remember her name? Never asked her name. Never. But she talked to him anyway. Like, he was with me, so. Right. So what day was that? Do you remember? I can't. I mean, you might get her phone records and, right. you know. All right. So that brings us to this, the charge, the the dead body. Okay. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? No. Do you know who's dead? No. Okay, Mike's dead. Your weed guy's dead. You look surprised. It's five hundred and freaking fifty dollars. Yep. Somebody killed him over five fifty, I guess. So what you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> you seem like you're surprised, bro. I'm sitting here like, yo, I've been straight and st <laughs> and now you're telling me about a disposed body. And I'm like, I think I can barely walk. What right. are you talking about? Right. Exactly. A disposed body. I can barely freaking walk. And now you're telling me it's Mike. I, I'm telling you, a boo told me at school everything was all right with him. Right. So when was that? When did he tell you that? Like, well, Monday, Tuesday. I was 
Because I haven't week, heard the weekend, from him. The weekend him. after y'all went to Maryland? I haven't, I haven't heard from him. So the next time me and Abu got back, I was like, everything good. Abu, he was like, everything should be. Um, you know, I talked to the guys. You know what I mean? Because apparently they know the same people. I don't particularly, honestly know how true that is. Right. But hold on. Mike. All right. What was I just saying? We're um, talking about Mike being surprised he's dead. Oh, yeah. Abu tells me, yo, you talk to him, let him know everything's good with the guys. Go back home. His girl is worried about him. Right. I, I, I don't know how to get in contact with him, but if he comes back by my house, I will surely let him know to go back home. Right. Now, when when he was at staying at your house, it was a couple of days. Did he have an issue with anybody else in the Nobody. house? Nobody. All my people was there. All now, my are roommates. You, like tight with all these people? Or? All my roommates. Everybody in the house. Boo said cool. there was like three or four people yep. there. Everybody there is cool. Um, mm-hmm. You know, he ate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I never, so you live with I friends or who do you no, all live I with? I live with just regular people. Like, there, it's a rooming house. My landlord rents rooms out. Oh, so everybody's different in every room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. But, um. So do you know these people? D- uh, well, I n- n- no, I live with them, like, personally. You know I mean, like, are they friends of yours or no. are they just renters nah, like you they are? just renters like I am. Everybody respects everybody. Right. Um, so you never saw them have a beef with, with Mike? Nobody would have no beef with Mike. They don't know Mike. Okay. I don't even know Mike for real. Mike is my wee guy. Right. What is your wee guy? He's dead. It's absolutely ridiculous. It is. Somebody get killed over five fifty okay. or something. <laughs> What's even more ridiculous is the body is a mile from your house. Huh? The body was found a mile from your house. What what? That's even more ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> yep, a mile from your house. So a bird flu would be even shorter. He's thrown over a bridge. Wrapped up and thrown over. I don't think somebody thought the police would find him. So, although I have enjoyed talking to you in your Academy Award winning performance... This is your opportunity to set the record straight because I don't think you're a cold-blooded killer, but you got some problems. This got out of hand, and you and some friends may have maybe took up yourself, or you did it yourself, or some friends. But we've been in your house all day long. We did a search warrant at your house today. Okay. You've got some issues that you need to get in front of. All right. Like I said, no disrespect. You're right. an older guy like I am. So that's why I'm shooting with you straight. All right. All right. We found the packing materials, the packing tape, the garbage bags, my, uh, blood in the garbage can in your room, blood all over the floor. From where it was cleaned up, we have a special chemical that brings that all back up because people think they clean it good and they don't. So you've got a lot of explaining to do or you're looking at murder charge. I don't know what you're talking about. It's awful coincidental. Mike was at your apartment. He's having an issue with money. And lo and behold, he dumped a mile from your from your place. And everything is in your room. The, the thing is, bro, sometimes things happen. They're not planned out for months. No. Listen, you but listen, right. listen, just real quick. Listen, man. There's every circumstance is different. You're gonna get an opportunity and we're gonna be fair with you. Okay? Because man. what you have to say is just as important to anybody else. You're a human just like we are. And we want to hear what you have to say, but you have a short window. See, I think this got out of hand. I do too. I don't think you meant to do this or the people you were with meant to do this. It got out of hand and then you panic. Like we've all been in that situation. You get something. Oh man, I messed up. And then you make, you make a poor decision and a poor decision and a poor decision. But you got to get ahead of this now because you've been doing good. You've been on the right path. Look, and this is going to mess that path up if you don't make it right. Look. All I'm going to say is, whatever y'all just said, 
about me trying to clean up something or whatever. It got nothing to do with that. Why don't you tell well, us Mike, what you Mike, do Mike, Mike you was work. killed at your place. Mike was stabbed at your place. His blood is at your place, in your bedroom. You got to deal with that. You can't run from that. I don't know nothing about that. Well, who would have been in your room other I than you? I don't know who Mike knows. I don't know nothing. Why would Mike, why would somebody come to your house to see Mike? Listen. Do, do you, do you, you watch TV, right? You, you watch, yeah. you watch CSI, you watch. I watch, watch the news. But, but, right, but just, just hear me out for All a right. second, okay? You need to, you need to understand something. Right. This is, this is a lot to take in what we're telling you. And I know it's a lot, okay? But you need to understand Listen. too. There's roommates. All my roommates can be questioned. Everybody in my house can be questioned. Yeah, but here's here's yeah. the thing. Yeah. When I, I don't know what y'all found, but I'm going to say this right now to save us some time. I don't know what happened to Mike. I don't have nothing to do with what happened to Mike. I have not a clue what happened to then Mike. Then why would all that stuff be in your room? I do not know. Well, who would look to set you up? happened to Mike. Okay. I don't know. Mike was my drug man. He was he sold me fifty dollars worth of marijuana. Um I didn't owe Mike any money. Mike didn't owe me no money. Mike was cool with me. I don't know who he got that bread from or nothing. But for me to be involved in killing Mike for any reason. Over five hundred and fifty dollars is not something that I would do. So I'm going to ask for a lawyer. Okay. And y'all go ahead and charge me with whatever y'all want to charge me with. But I did not do anything to Mike, nor do I know what happened to Mike. Okay. I don't. If, that, if that's how you want to do it, that's fine. That's absolutely you're right. That's why I read it to you. We I don't know. A player playing field, uh, and that you're absolutely right. right. If you want uh, a lawyer, a, a, you want Oscar a lawyer. performance or all that other stuff. Well, we're 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 trying to give you an opportunity because what happens is all that stuff that, that that he just explained to you, all that stuff gets sent to the laboratory. Scientific experts are going to look over whatever it y'all want to do piece. to ever do that. Then that's what y'all got to do. Well, it's what's, what's, what's going to be yeah. done. So whenever that comes back and whatever exonerates me or y'all whatever, um, it's all right. When yeah, I hope you're right. Yeah. I hope you did kill somebody. You said you hope I what? I hope you did not kill yeah, somebody. Right. You've been doing right. good. Right. Um, I hope I hope you're right. But it sure don't look that way. I didn't do anything to that guy. All right. Well, we can't we can't keep talking to you. Ask for a uh, lawyer. So, um, what's going to happen is you'll be taken to the booking here. Um, and I think we're in Howard County. I think um, they'll take you to booking, and then today is Sunday. Probably Monday or Tuesday, you'll have an extradition hearing to come back to Virginia because a warrant's from Virginia for uh, def- maliciously disposing of a dead body. So you'll come to Virginia for that charge, um, and then the you know the court proceed. That's where you'll be your first opportunity to get bond. So, if if for some reason you change your mind and you want to talk when you get to Virginia, let let us know because you'll have another opportunity. We can come talk to you. Can I make a phone call? Yeah, when you get down to the booking and stuff, they'll let you call somebody. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with us, and uh, we'll see how it works out. All right. Yep. Nice to meet you, man. All right. Just sit tight. Let me see what's going on. Oh, wait. Okay. So after all the evidence they found in his room connecting him to the murder, he was charged. Now the trial was complete and the sentencing phase is on May the 12th. So stay tuned for the outcome. Do you think he's guilty? Let me know.